Hello students, myself uh, Professor Vishwanath and today I will be covering the topic named as uh, Program Development Using Inheritance which forms a part of subject OOP which is also known as Object Oriented Programming which is a part of first year BSc IT semester 2. So in this session we will be covering what is inheritance, what importance does it play with respect to object oriented programming, what are the advantages and see some real world examples of inheritance. Inheritance is an important topic both from the perspective of marks. So around 15 to 20 marks are expected in paper from this particular topic. And this topic is also very important with respect to interviews because this forms one of the most famous interview questions you will find whenever you go for any company. So to start with, what is inheritance? Now inheritance is a concept which allows to establish relationship between classes. Now the relationship between classes is driven by something known as is a relationship. So inheritance helps us in maintaining something known as is a relationship. So let's take a small example to understand. Let's say we have something known as vehicle. We know vehicle has some particular attributes like number of wheels, speed and so on. And we will also agree car is a type of vehicle. So the relationship between car and vehicle is that car is a vehicle. Same way if you go for another example, let's take an example of animal. Animal forms a generic class, a base class and we have something like cat or dog. Cat and dog forms a easy relationship again with animal. So cat is a animal and so on. So, so these are the relationships. So whenever we have a easy relationship in real world, we will be able to do the same with respect to object oriented programming with the help of inheritance. So inheritance is majorly used to get easy relationship. So in this case, there will be two classes. If I convert this to any programming language, let's say C++, this will be converted to a vehicle class and this will be converted to a car class. And vehicle will contain common attributes while car will inherit most of the attributes which can be specified via specifiers. So the advantage of doing this approach is most of the common code exists in the vehicle class while car is free to do certain things which are very specific to car and thus we have clean code, we have something known as reusability. That is the code has been written once and it can be reused multiple times. Now let's take an example. Let's say tomorrow I want to bring one more type of vehicle, let's say truck. So when I bring truck, truck will again inherit everything from vehicle because again truck is a vehicle. So most of the common code is present within vehicle itself and truck will contain only specific code which is very specific to trucks and so on. So to take this example further, we have one more example with respect to shapes. Now we know there are different types of shapes which are available with respect to geometry. Basically we can take two types, one is circle and another is polygon. We know polygon which contains various sides. One of the special type of polygon is rectangle. So now we know rectangle is a special type of polygon. It's also a polygon but it's a special type with the with, in which length and width are equal, correct? And when all the sides are equal of a rectangle that becomes square. So square is a special type of rectangle with all the sides equal. So as we can see square again inherits from rectangle. We can say square inherits from rectangle because square is the child class, rectangle is the parent class. Rectangle is again the child class for polygon which itself is a child of shapes. So we have parent child relationship with respect to easy relationship and that is what is known as inheritance. So inheritance is a concept in which we can have a derived class from a base class. We can have a derived class from a base class. That is what is known as inheritance. Now going further, we will see what are the different types of inheritance. Now there are various types of inheritance with respect to which there can be different examples, some of which we will cover. The first simple type of inheritance is a single inheritance in which we have a base class, let's say base class A and a derived class B. Now derived class B will inherit from A. So this is known as single inheritance since there is only a single parent and a single child. 
so this is known as single inheritance similarly we can also have multiple inheritance now in multiple inheritance the child class let's say the c class will inherit from two different classes let's say a and the second class is b so a and b will come together to form c so this is another type of relationship this is known as multiple since the child gets from multiple different parents that's why this is known as multiple inheritance one of the simple example of multiple inheritance if we take is flying objects so we have various flying objects like birds are an example of flying objects we also have flying objects something like aeroplane which is a flying object you will agree with me aeroplane is a flying object same way we can also have a animal or animal class a animal class is a class which defines animal and with animal we can have bird now if you see you will agree with me bird is a type of animal bird is a type of animal it will extend naturally from animal and bird can also fly so it can also extend it can also extend from flying so eventually bird has multiple inheritance because it inherits from flying and it also inherits from animal so this is second type of inheritance which is possible which is known as multiple inheritance now the third type which we have is known as multi level inheritance in multi level inheritance we have more than one level so let's say we have a class a class a will come class b will inherit from class a class c will inherit from class b so overall this is the inheritance mechanism we already saw one example of multi level inheritance if you remember few minutes before we covered the examples of rectangle or polygon polygon rectangle extends from polygon and further square extends from rectangle so each of them extended from one another to form a multi level inheritance so this is more than one level that's why it is known as multi level inheritance so these are the various types of inheritance we also have one last one which is known as hybrid inheritance now hybrid inheritance is an inheritance which can have a common blaze class let's say a b and c come from both of them or extend from both of them and we have one more d which extends from b and c together so we have a common parent two derived classes from common parent and another derived class which extends individually from the child of the common parent this is known as as i told you hybrid hybrid type of inheritance now as a simple example let's take for hybrid way is something like this we can have cricketer as an example so let's say we have cricketer we know people who play cricket are broad, broadly classified into two different types one is the person who bowls he is known as the bowler and another is the person who performs the batting and it's known as batsman right so we have two different objects from the common parent cricket or cricketer cricketer can be a bowler he can be a batsman now sometimes he can be both correct a bowler as well as a batsman so when we have someone who is doing both the things like a bowler and a batsman we have a common name known as all rounder so all rounder will naturally all rounder is naturally a cricketer because he has to be a bowler he also has to be a batsman so this is an example of hybrid type of inheritance in which two child classes get from the common common class and both the child classes are inherited separately to form the third class so these are various type of inheritance which is possible with respect to object oriented programming world and with respect to c++ so this is what we covered in short today in short we started with object what, what what are the principles of inheritance how we will come to know how inheritance are derived inheritance are derived by using is a relationship then we went and saw various live examples like animals then we saw some examples with respect to shapes with respect to uh, uh, various types of uh, inheritance various types of inheritance like single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance 
and finally we also saw the hybrid type of inheritance. So this forms the background of this entire chapter as a whole and understanding this and giving these live examples will naturally ensure good score with respect to papers.